go. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the timing on this, and it's a, a Virgin engine, so we're gonna see if we can uh, do it all in one shot, and maybe an all in one take on the video. So first thing we have to do, we have to take the flywheel off. So that's when this hose clamp comes into use. It's a big one. You're gonna get that at the plumbing store. Uh, where they have the uh, exit pipe, 4 inch exit pipe, 5 inch exit pipe. You want to throw that onto the flywheel. <coughs> tighten it up. There's a 516 socket on there. Just rotate it around like that. That no V nut there is left handed, so and turn right to loosen it. This is going to hold the flywheel still <coughs> while you get that nut to loosen. There you go. Didn't have to bang around with a hammer and fight and get out uh, all sorts of other toolage or anything else like that. You can leave that clamp on there like that if you like. Always make sure when you're putting the flywheel somewhere that it's somewhere that you haven't been grinding I throw a rag around it just in case because if you get any uh, metal on that thing it's going to be stuck forever or just about forever now this is the uh, cam uh, clutch tool clutch removal tool and uh, we're going to use that because we've got to take the cam off so carefully throw that in there like that thread her in there we go. Tighten that up just so that she's holding. Just uh, get this to jump loose. I hope. Without dropping it on the floor. Ah, there we go. I just felt it go pop. Yep, there she is. That's a lot better than fighting. Now that gets the cam separated and everything is groovy here. So we can take our piston stop tool. Put the uh, the piston at approximately top dead center. You can put a, a screwdriver in there to see where she is if you can't see down there because it's all carboned up or whatever. And just get her up to the top. And thread in your piston stop tool. And you want to sort of move your, your piston up and down until you're sure that you're at the spot where it's actually touching. I think on the, on the thread here. So I'm going to pull her back out. We're going to see what's the problem. A little bit of schmutz inside there as well. So let's get that thread clean. Put it back in here. that go clunk. Now you know where you want to be. Back it out a little bit. What you want for top dead center is you want that to just just lightly kiss the bottom of that tool. Okay? Now once you got in that spot what you do is you back up about a quarter of a turn, and you thread this guy in here 
one full you know, one quarter turn. That'll give you about 1.5 millimeter or top dead center. And what you do is you want to turn the crank until that piston comes up against that piston stop tool. And that's where you want your spark to happen. But before we make the spark happen, you want to make sure that we have the right gap. And to get the right gap, now this is nice and loose on there, you want to rotate that cam so you see the points of the widest open right about there and the points are widest open you want to find your feeler gauges and you want that gap to be between 0.3 and 0.4 millimeters so I'm just going to grab that 0.35 and shove it in there and you know, that's going to take a little bit of work to open her I think because it's 0.3 is also tight. So, what we do is we'll loosen up the screw that ties her down. Like so. We open her up a bit. And then have that screw just barely holding her. And we take our point three feeler gauge and we put her in the air. And oh, that's loose as a goose now. Go to point four, and that's still loose. So then, with her like that, should be able to just tap it like that. Get her to close up enough. a little bit of fooling around, but that's okay to get set. You set her once, and you don't have to set her again. Yeah, just another little shot there. There we go. Oh yeah. Like that. And you just tighten that screw up so it's good and tight. Now, that's what you call the index. So now you've got the index set. What you want to do is you want to rotate this in the clockwise direction. Rotate your cam until you see those points just starting to open. It's right at that point there. Now, Make sure they're just starting to open. Here's the trick. You take cigarette paper, cut yourself a little a little stripe of it. Put up your points. Put it in there. And if you can pull that cigarette paper out without it tearing, like that, that's the exact point you want it at. Now, to grip this onto the cam, I'm going to give her just a knock with the handle of the screwdriver blade. And what that does is it pushes the tapers together and it should be solid as heck. And it is. That part's done. Now your timing is set. We're right where you want her to be. So we put the flywheel back on. When you put the flywheel on, you want to make sure that these guys here are aligned with those divots. If these are not into those divots well, what happens is, even though you tighten up that Novi nut really nice and snug, because it's off, it'll tear in all by itself without that, and it'll just destroy that cam, or it'll destroy the flywheel. That's something you really don't want. Also, it can pop and hop around, and it'll start taking out the coils with it. So it's really not a good scenario. So, take a look at where they are in here take a look at where they are there kind of be approximate and slip her on and you can tell when you've got a positive lock in there because because they'll grip they're good and you take your Novi nut keep in mind there this guy works backwards 
and just spin her on. You got those divots and dimples lined up. It won't be wonky on you. Now what you want to do is you take off this clamp, <coughs> switch it around, put it back on, put the screws on the opposite side, tighten her up. Now that will stop everything from moving around. So that when you tighten up that nut, it's actually tightening. It's not going for a walk on you. And there you have it. Don't forget to take, forget to take out your piston stop tool. And there you go, You're ready to rock and roll.